In a studio that's in a basement comes the epic story of how two friends changed the future of the movie podcast game forever. <laughs> the reviews are in. Boys Life Magazine gives the High Psy Podcast four and a half acorns. The Daily Bugle says, these guys are super legit. And Pope Francis declares the podcast as life affirming. From the kid who tried to get smart with David Spade and got fucking old. You're still out. You're still back. And the guy who can name all four Baldwin brothers. Alec, William, Daniel, and the baby boy, Stephen. Live from the studio of his parents' basement. The Have You Seen It Podcast. Hello and welcome back to the Have You Seen It Podcast. My name is Mason Knight and sitting across from me is the one and only Cash Krause. Yeah. How you doing? How's it going, eh? It's, go- it's going, eh? It's going pretty good. How's it going, good. eh? You know why I said eh? Before we start. Oh. Sorry. Go ahead, eh? Sorry, eh? <laughs> Yes, it is Foreign Film Friday. Our Foreign Film <laughs> this Friday. Is a very, yes. I just laugh and laugh when I think about this because this is a very close foreign film for us. Oh, it's very close. It's, it's close a to home. Stone's Throw, right it across is. that northern border in the Great White North. Those crazy yes. Canucks. They're doing all kinds of wizardry. Those cr- yeah, those crazy northerners. Yeah. You got to be careful of them. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, yeah, we are doing a Canadian film, our first ever. Yes. Probably even not our first ever Canadian production. It's probably not. <laughs> it's probably the first one that we realized Well, I was know Canadian. for sure the Avenger films are always filmed in Vancouver, BC. Right. Because it looks like New York. Okay. So... That wasn't a Canadian production per se, but it was filmed in Canada. But yes, a Canadian foreign film. uh, One I'm very excited for. I haven't been this excited for a film in a very long time. It feels like years. Wow. Well, yeah, because we haven't had anything. No, we haven't. No, we really haven't. What is there to be excited about? Mulan? Not a whole lot these days. No, I still have not seen it. You know, either I. No, no. Heard it wasn't that great. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much what I expected. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we are doing Psycho Gorman. Psycho Gorman. I saw this trailer about a week ago. Uh, you guys probably saw our trailer reaction for this. Man, I was so excited to talk about this because this is such an original, like, idea. This is so bonkers off the wall. But uh, it looked really funny. And it it looked is. And it really good. And your stereotypical, you know, 80s rock hairband music in the trailer and the... In the uh, yeah, it's definitely eighties, nineties inspired. Yeah. It's like a, it's like one of it's like Spielberg's. Uh, it's like a Spielberg Amblin film or something. Mm-hmm. You got a group of kids. Yep. They find this crazy, wacky alien. It's like E. T. I mean P. G. E. T. Okay, there you go. Yeah. I see. I see. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a it's satire, but uh, it's not just satire. It's no. it's its own thing for sure. Also, it is. that's what I really enjoyed about, it. and it's hilarious it is so i did funny. not i knew it'd be funny because of yeah. what they're doing what they're ripping off but uh i did not expect the dialogue and the writing to be so funny it was witty humor yeah. throughout the whole thing we were we were watching it together and this was one of our favorite movies to watch dude because as we had brought just brought up it was hilarious from start to finish this movie was really well made. but i yeah i was not expecting it's that kind of awkward anti-humor kind of like him and Eric that kind of dry mm-hmm. style of humor yes. that's really weird and kind of cringy at times <laughs> yeah. the ca- especially with the parents yes yeah. exactly and the camera lingers too long it's that kind of weird humor that yeah. I just perfectly landed for me mm-hmm. I love that kind of stuff yeah. when it's done right but yeah it, I didn't expect it to be so funny but yeah it's hilarious it is it's really so... funny and you're right some of the nuance uh jokes even where you know they're playing crazy ball and, and you go back to the aliens and they're like i've never understood sports yeah <laughs> or when they're playing crazy ball funny. at the start and it's like super dramatic yeah. they have music playing or whatever mm-hmm. and then it zooms out and it's like the lamest game ever it's like just them throwing <laughs> balls at each other but then when it zooms back in, it's super like well oh, right. shot Slow motion and they're doing like and, diving oh, yeah. throws and stuff but uh yeah, it's it's good. It it rips off. I mean, it doesn't rip off. It pays homage to yes. a lot of a lot of films that are like, you know, the kids go and find like E. T. or like Terminator or mm-hmm. something like that, where they go and find, and then they kind of have to humanize this other world species. But right. this 
it just so happens that instead of kids finding like a friendly alien, they find this like psycho uh, gorman, <laughs> this psycho gorman who is this alien who goes planet to planet, just hand to hand killing yes. people. He Let's is take nameless, a long time. but they call him the Archduke of Night. Yeah, which was funny when they're trying to make a name for him. And they're like, we got a Psycho Gorman. He's like, I don't see how that's better than yeah. the Archduke of Night. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's really it's really good. Yeah, I enjoyed I, it a lot. Yeah, this, this film is just hilarious from start to finish. We'll talk about some of the highlights. I love the warehouse scene where we're getting introduced to Psycho Gorman, right? And they're just... And again, those these are some of those small jokes that you might miss. But, yeah, uh, they're like, "Oh, my wrist really hurts from bashing that guy's head in." <laughs> you know, the, the homeless guy. Yeah, and uh, man, those deaths are brutal. Yes, they are. They get their heads so, ripped off. And not even not even did they really dedicate to like the costumes and stuff, which we'll definitely mm. talk about because that's obviously the highlight of the oh, film. Oh, for sure. But uh, they dedicated with how they shot the film, too. They shot it in, like, a very traditional 80s and 90s with, like, how they yeah. did the effects and stuff. Yeah, for there sure. There is some CGI use, but very little. Most of it is just straight-up practical effects yeah. or, like, the hand-drawn practical effects. Well, even when Psycho Gorman was talking about going to a different galaxy and he's in that spaceship, yeah, a lot of that was pra- – there was some CGI use, but it wasn't much. Like, the ship was all, like, real oh, yeah. and – He's flying through it, and it all looked really good, but it did look the, like yeah. that 80s, 90s vibe. And Yeah, like it was it was shot just in front of a green screen. There was like some they claymation did Star Wars. in this, too. Yeah, there was claymation. Yeah, with yeah. that hovering uh, alien droid. Well, thing. that's what I was saying is they really, they really, like, dedicate themselves to, like, just going back. And you wouldn't know it if this film came out in the fucking 80s or 90s, you would think. It's just shot exactly like that. Or the effects where they bring, like, the the lady in. Remember, they're like, she's... It's the the what do they call the citadel, mm-hmm. where it's like the the these aliens uh, boardroom where they yes. they're, they're the ones that captured Psycho Gorman originally, mm-hmm. but uh, they bring the human in and then she like squishes her in the cube or whatever. That was all done like practical effects. It yeah. looked amazing. That was hilarious. She's so... like, "Where am I?" <laughs> it just squishes her. I'm like, "Oh my god!" She rubs the blood all over her face. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's good. But yes, the costumes. We have to talk about that. That is the fucking highlight. There's, it's so it, it elevates the movie because there's so much fucking like lore and mythos mm-hmm. behind. Like you could feel like every character and every monster. Oh, for sure, and every alien. <laughs> yeah, and it's so stupid because it's such a stupid and funny movie it that is. they would have so much like deep writing. Mm-hmm. It reminds like when he goes and he fights. It's like his group or whatever. It's like the Sinister Six. The obs- uh, they are called the the Templars is the bad people, but Templars, the, Paladins, not the Citadel, the Paladins of Obsidian. <laughs> That's what they are. It's all these wild fucking names. But like uh like when he's killing all of them mm-hmm. and then at one point he has, to, he has to like rip someone's chest open and he pulls out a rose. <laughs> like you know that there's some like big history behind oh, them. For sure, yeah. <laughs> and it's so funny because it's so fucking like written deep. But like mm-hmm. there's so much mythos, but it's such a stupid film. It's so stupid. Yeah. Dude, some of the funniest moments in this film were with Alistair. Their friend who gets yeah. turned into a giant brain, <laughs> and it's the oh my god! Dude. It's the it's the greatest practical effects brain. It, is, it looks it so bad and just so good at the same time. Well, it's that long so, shot we talk about long that's shots. That's what I'm talking, and that's exactly what I was gonna bring up. Where they're like, I'm going they just, home, guys. <laughs> it's just like, and then like a minute, and like it's like still he's going through a yeah. field. It's so long. <laughs> that's love- what I'm talking about. I love. You could that's something you could easily overdo is leaving mm-hmm. that camera on, but yeah. doing it just enough, just keeping it on there, letting the scene play out. Mm-hmm. It's so because you can tell it's just like a guy crunched over in a little brain suit. Yeah. And he's like walking. <laughs> walking on hands and knees. <laughs> it's so funny. But the common theme for Alistair was like no one even noticed the kid. He's sitting in the in front of the yeah. gas station. The guy <laughs> just walks by him with a slurpee. Yeah. And uh his parents don't even bother to Well that that's something also is like they they definitely poked fun. How is how in the, like these eighties and nineties mm-hmm. his parents are like completely Oblivious. absent. Yeah. yeah. And that it, you knew immediately by when they're because the game, what is it, kill ball or whatever? It's uh crazy ball. Crazy ball. Crazy ball. At the end of it, like who loses uh gets buried alive and they bury like this they dig like this 10 foot by 10 foot hole, hole? yeah so like ridiculously it would, ridiculously take, it would big. take days <laughs> to do but it just 
in the fucking movie <clears throat> world, you know. Right. You don't, and, and in those 80s and 90s movies, no one questioned that fucking shit. Nope, not at all. And it's not even as far away. It's in the backyard, and they're like, we can't let mom and dad see. It is this massive, like, they had to take a, cr- a crane to right. Which probably would have took you four or five days yeah. to do with oh, a shovel. With three guys. Yeah, but, yeah. That, but this kid gets it done in an hour. And then they're like, we got to fill it up, and they filled up immediately. Well, there's... It's- and what else is hilarious about that is there's a giant hole there, no dirt anywhere. <laughs> so like they did it on purpose. I feel like to kind of and it, but show even you. the mom comes out and they're in the hole and she's mm-hmm. like, "What are you guys doing?" And they're like, "Don't you know it's nine o'clock?" And they're like, "Yeah, what's nine o'clock?" <laughs> <laughs> like it's supposed to be this wholesome family right. uh, thing. Like but it's, it's bedtime. Yeah. It's nine. And the mom was like, "I don't know." She's like, I don't know. "Yeah, she's like, I don't know." Bedtime, yeah. you know. It's well, funny. Love- it's just it's really weird, wacky. Yeah. That is not going to land for everyone. This no, is I say this a lot, but this is one film that is oh. gonna be a a love or hate it for yeah. sure. Not everyone is gonna like this fucking film. The father of the humor. The father was hilarious in this though. The dad the, is the shovel scene where he's like, Ah oh, <laughs> oh, my hand. And then they call back to it at the end when he high yeah, fives. Really <laughs> Bones protruding out of his fucking <laughs> It's so funny. Yeah, the dad is supposed to be like this. I don't know, like the stereotypical movie dad. Mm-hmm. He's just he's very lazy. That's Super the thing. Lazy. He's lazy. Yeah. Even when he cooks meals, he cooks the chicken <laughs> in the microwave. It's kind of tough. <laughs> but then it's this, and then that's a really weird, really funny scene because Mary gets really dramatic and it zooms it in does. on the, the dad. Is like <laughs> it's so it's so out of place, but fucking hilarious. It, is. it really is. And this film we got to kind of talk about. It's like as this film is as indie as it gets. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, the director, you can't even find it. The director, is he's just part of this group of guys called Astron 6. And they produce this really low budget. Most of the budget comes from, I don't think this one. This one came from a real studio. But most of the budget from their previous films came from Indiegogos and, like, GoFundMes and shit. Really? Yeah. So wow. it's, it's fucking low budget. But they always do, like, these very specific genre satire films. That like are not definitely aren't going to land for yeah. everyone, but for the people that l- love them, they fucking love them. Mm. They're really well done. But uh, this film, I think, is going to put them more on the map to where I hopefully they'll be able to get more of a budget. Yeah. But uh, but the low budget it just works for these kind of types of guys. Mm. It's fucking perfect. Well, because this, this is film like is a supposed B to movie. look. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's it's not disrespectfully a B movie, but it's shot kind of like no. that. There's no a, disrespect. B, yeah. There's great B movies. B movies yeah. are just a type of film, but. Uh, but man, this this one knocked out of the park. I gotta tell you, one of the this scene I was wheezing laughing because you cannot get away with this in any other movie except this one. When Psycho Gorman's finally going out with the girl and they're walking through the, the town, and that little girl screams, Nice Halloween costume, loser! And he turns and his eyes light up. Yeah. He <laughs> blows a child. He murdered a child. Oh, they murder a ton of fucking kids and cops and uh, yeah, a lot of kids. Yeah, it's the kid hilarious. Just fucking spontaneously yes. combusts yeah. and just blows up. Dude, I was laughing so hard during well, that. Like, I-, I found it so funny when they dress him in human clothes. They dress him as Doctor Alan Grant from Jurassic <laughs> Park. He's the ascot <laughs> yeah. and the glasses and even the hat. It's so funny why they dress him like that. The cops, the, just one cop car, and it's hauling through the school. <laughs> yeah. like, I, I, I never got it. Why? Where someone did someone call them? <laughs> you don't need any context. <laughs> Not with a film like this. You really don't. Get on the phone. I mean, they're so scared. Yeah. <laughs> And then he melts that fucking guy, and it's he melts brutal. his face. That's the thing is, yeah. some scenes are horrifying. They are, but that, they're, that's they're really good. Still they, hilarious. They toe that line perfectly. They do. Yeah, they really do. And it's so funny because they're walking through the the forest, and then the girl gets the note, and it's written in blood yeah. in a heart. It says, "Please kill me." That's another. Yeah, we gotta <laughs> talk like, about. Ew. We gotta talk about the main girl. She, she is. Hilarious. She has a very specific, uh, and that's another thing where I wasn't sure at first that's, if I was going to love it or if I thought it was going to get annoying. But that's another thing where I think some people are, are either going to hate it or love it is this type. Because it's like the girl, it's hard to describe. She's like this crazy wacky, but she has like a 40-year-old's humor. Yeah, and it's, she's, but but it, I thought her performance was grounded considering what this movie was. Like, she was crazy, but it wasn't over well, the no. top where it got annoying for me. Like, at all. No I thought, eight-year-old I thought act, it really acts funny. like that. <laughs> well, of course not. Of course not. But 
But I don't know. There was a realism to it, yeah, to, I, I, to her performance that I appreciated. Because well, as she, crazy as the circumstances were, I thought she did a really good job. Yeah, there's there's some scenes that were definitely probably acted better than others. Mm-hmm. But there are child actors. But yeah, yeah, she just, it's just, it's unlike, you know, any kid you're used to seeing. I think what they're going for there was like, in all of these types of movies, the the main kid especially always acts older than his age. Because yeah, one, sure. he's written by a fifty year old guy. An adult. <laughs> yeah. But these kids, they always have very adult humor, you know, that mm. uh, that that most kids just don't have at that right. age. Yeah. It's they're talking usually little kids are talking about the dumbest shit that you wouldn't you wouldn't find you'd find just cringy and off putting. Mm. But she is very fucking very funny, but she's very like quick witted and yeah. uh, just super smart beyond her age or whatever. For sure. But uh yeah, she's she it's hard to describe. She's just this crazy manic type of girl, but mm-hmm. she is hilarious. I love when she when they're walking to the school and she just grabs her brother by the collar and just starts fucking yelling, Can you dig it? And she's like, Yes, yes. And he's crying, almost crying. And then she grabs his homework and throws it right before the bell rings. Well she was a little crazy because she was like Second Gorman, kill my brother. Yeah, and exactly. He goes yeah. To, he's about to kill her. He's like, finally. Yeah, and, and that was the whole like, thing. Oh, is I thought maybe it was going to get into like, uh, like they'd start worrying about her because she was already re- kind of really dark. Well, and, that's where Luke, the brother, and that was yeah, another it, joke. It, it didn't really Psycho go far Gorman. down that road, though. It was fucking hilarious. He knew everyone's name, but he never remembered Luke's <laughs> name. <laughs> Even at the end of the we film. He explained the whole family and her yeah. brother. He's like, man, you should know my name by now. Goodbye, Greg. Goodbye, Susan. Goodbye, Mimi. <laughs> Goodbye, boy <laughs> yeah that was good let's oh, was uh so i want to talk about the costumes more than yeah, the practical yeah, yeah. effects one of my favorite jokes was when they get uh what was what was the bad the bad people's name again uh oh the uh, not the crusaders but the uh the templars oh no what was his group's name oh the obsidian yeah the obsidian yes. the the, what, the paladins of obsidian yes, or whatever the paladins of obsidian it's all the costumes are so fucking vastly different. They're so fucking unique. But one of the guys is a death trapper. That's just a giant metal. Tub? Yeah. <laughs> it's got like bodies, but it's so his biggest weapon. Cause at one point they're all jumping psycho Gorman because mm-hmm. they can't, the whole thing is they because they 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 had a democracy now instead of a yeah. uh, dictator uh, dictator. But they're know? jumping in there and they're like, "Get him, Death Trapper!" And he locks in and he, his guns they just spray <laughs> blood. blood and that's it. Him. That's his, his best uh, trait. Why is that? How is that guy effective in a fight? He's not. He's not. <laughs> unless you get a little. Unless he's it's got like so you know, fucking funny yeah. though. And then Psycho Gorman gets up and just punches the middle of the glass, and he goes, he goes, oh, and you hear him dying. Yeah. It's fucking brutal. All the scenes are brutal. The scenes are hilarious, too, because, like, it's a nightmare on Elm Street, like, four or whatever it was, where I'll give you a warrior's death. And they'll, or, uh, yeah, warrior's death. He's like, no, no. And then he just, and it's, it's really brutal. cool. The practical <laughs> effects of him, like, covering his mouth, getting wider and eating them whole. It's so good. It did. It so reminded good. me uh, of the practical effects in Krampus. Is all practical mm. effects, too. And there's an... Uh, a jack in the box that kind of unhinges his jaw like Psycho Gorman does and mm-hmm. swallows people yeah. whole. It's yeah, that was really cool. And nobody fucking wanted that death. No. I will give you a warrior's death. No, anything no. but that. <laughs> and then the family's like, let's just go. No, they don't even want to watch it no, at that point. Don't. It's fucking brutal. But uh yeah, great, great deaths. A ton of real fucking blood. Of course, mm-hmm. no CGI blood. Yep. But a lot of fucking blood. Another good death is when they the homeless guy He's like, don't kill me. He's like, then you'll live forever. And he like freezes him inside of his own body. <laughs> yep. But his eyes still like twitch here. It's so fucking and then brutal Luke, and gross. Luke knocks him over. He's like, yeah. no, my creation. Yeah, my greatest performance was like that. Yeah. And it's so funny because the kids aren't bothered by any of this death at all. Nothing. He tips that guy. The and he just goes, nothing. ah. He yeah. just walks away. And then you hear then it you in hear, his mouth, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, and then the cop he turns to is just like a, a husk of a person. Oh my he's God. running he around, was following the... him around everywhere. And the best how part... many rounds did he have in that gun? The best part is when they jump Psycho Gorman, and then he comes yeah. over and starts shooting. It. <laughs> like he gets in on it. It's so funny. Like he was just waiting for, yeah, for that just, opportunity. He's still there enough to right. know. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. And he gives him a brutal death, too. I think he explodes his head. Yeah, he does. He does. He gets a swift death. Yeah. For sure. But, uh, yeah, I loved it. I loved all all the backstory just elevated the comedy. To know that it was, 
that that level was taken very seriously. Oh, it was. But then, and it's so dramatic, like Psycho Gorman, his whole backstory is he was a slave from these Templars, and he rose up because he found this fucking uh, jewel or whatever that yeah. made powerful, and then he took down the Templars, and it took like thousands of years, or millions of years maybe, to fucking... Uh, trap him into on planet guy <laughs> oh, Planet guy it's so and it's there's so many names thrown out like there it's are. so there's so much levels to that but yeah it's it's just so fucking deep and it goes into and shows his home planet mm-hmm. and it's and it's like bad slash good effects because it's just them in front of the green screen right. you could tell but uh but yeah it's 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 wild to see it's i just i appreciated it oh for sure because you can tell there was so much more work put in to have everyone be in a fucking costume. And you could tell that they couldn't move around that well. No. Well, because the Templar, when she was talking, you could tell it was extremely hard for her to move her mouth. Yeah, that's one or one of of just a few critiques. Is like sometimes the dubbing seemed off mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah, and obviously because it was the people that were, I mean, it was dubbed over. People were voicing the characters in the fucking, but yeah. But that's if that's a basic point. I mean, there's there's so many. At so, at one point, there's like nine different practical effects creatures, and they're all. Ex- there's not one that looks the same. No, you know, especially when it's the fucking Templars, and there's like one guy. He's in like a tube. He's just a skeleton. Yeah, it yeah. Is, it's just like brains and a skeleton. Yeah, yeah his face. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I just you don't see movie movies like it very often. No, you don't. So you got to appreciate when yeah. it comes around because it's there was a lot of fucking hard work, especially designing oh, sure. Just, each yeah. every fucking creature and mm-hmm. then going out and making the fucking creature. It's yep. it's crazy. It's just it's a crazy business. And, and knowing that none of those creatures will ever be used again, they'll just be stored until they rot away. Like right. every creature, you know, including the actors, they're just going to put them in. A carbon <laughs> yeah, that's what freeze. they do. Well, that's yeah. what they do with Tom Cruise. That's why he never ages. Yeah, of course. After every roll, they just freeze him freeze and he him. stays. So really, yeah. he's like twenty eight still. He, he is because he's only yeah he's only actually lived a few years because we freeze him. Every well, time. he did sign that billion year contract with Scientology, so yeah, he's got a few more years to go on that contract. Which, what a dedicate! I can't dedicate myself to do anything. No, let alone a billion years. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't time. know what I'm doing a week from now. Uh, nor do I. Let let what I know a billion years, but it is going to feel good once that billion years is up. You're going to feel like you accomplished something. That's for sure. <laughs> to rip. I hope he doesn't resign. No. Well, I don't know. After 9 million years or 900 million years. Yeah. You got to start looking at something else. Some other know. religions. Because yeah. by then there'll be some good ones. Of course. For sure. A billion <laughs> years down the road. But a billion years in the scope of like the space and, and, and the time of the universe. It's not that long. It's really not. So he is going to have to figure something he out. Well. <laughs> That was another funny thing about this movie too. Was the he's like, uh, time is just a construct because yeah. you guys don't understand, or you guys have not been in the ninth realm, yeah, or the ninth dimension. Whatever. Again, there's so many levels to this fucking guy, and he mm-hmm. that he had these wild fucking magic dark powers. I love the effect of speaking through the TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in the blood, and, and then the later on, bleeding. the dad is like, "Man, I can't get this TV to stop bleeding." <laughs> so stupid. It's- the mom and dad were really funny. There were scenes where, yes, like, did you call me lazy? <laughs> like he's so offended by, it. but he is the lazy. You're just like my crazy. teacher, my yeah. mom, mom, my <laughs> grandma, but not you. Remember, he's like, he was just the laziest person yeah. of all time. Yep. But uh, yeah, hilarious. And this this film ends with such absurdity too. The uh, the crazy ball, the crazy the ball. Crazy that's ball. yeah, and that's like. That's very cliche. These type of movies where like you got to beat them at their own, yeah, take yep. them out of their own element or whatever. But uh, it's like Space Jam. Mm, yeah, it <laughs> is. You got to be in a basketball beat beat a ball. Luckily, they had the Michael Jordan of Crazy Ball there. They did. Which Mimi. Was, yeah, that little yeah. girl. Also, the only one who knew the rules. Very complicated rules. It's true. You got the old switcheroo. You got the butt bonuses. I love. I There's love when they're they're trying to for, first teach it to to Psycho Gorman. Yeah, and the, yeah, after after all, it's like it's like a montage. Mm-hmm. It's like you could tell it was like forty minutes or something. Sure. And he just looks over to the cop that's just all fucked. He's like, "Are you getting any of this?" <laughs> yeah, it's like, so funny. This game is nonsense. Yeah, it's so funny, but yeah, yeah, they had to play crazy ball. Another really funny thing, uh, besides the end, was when he 
the only way he could talk to uh, the main character's brother was to go through his nightmares. Okay, his that nightmare scene was, was hilarious. Just with zombie. just zombies <laughs> just crawling in a grave. And he tries to get him to betray his... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then it doesn't work, and he eventually denies it. And he's like, well, now what? He's like, well, we have to wait till the nightmare. Oh, well, yeah, he's like... And it zooms out, and all the zombies are still just yeah. crawling. <laughs> he's crawling, and it's just... And they're just awkward silence. Yeah. Like, they're just standing there, like, waiting for a day. That's that prolonged shot, though, that you talk about yeah. that makes it so funny, that scene. But I love that I love it right before they get to that scene where he's like... Oh, you're more strong-willed than I thought. Yeah, I know because he because he, he thought he was just kill his sister. Weak. Yeah, yeah. He kill. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, so many good scenes. The end. Uh, spoiler alert: They come trying, but it's so ridiculous, it's so ridiculous and over the top. The sword he has to make by taking pieces because he's he had brought that up earlier yeah. in the film that you know he he will rip out someone's spine and show it to their grieving family. Yeah. So yeah. he was able to like uh, take Build pieces out of the out main, of uh, like she's like this cyborg archangel kind of thing. Mm. Super fucking cool. It looks cool. really cool. Yeah, design. it was awesome. And All the, the chick, designs were great. The chick is a badass. I mean, well, she, she was. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they eventually they beat her in a uh, crazy ball, and Gorman gets the the jewel back. I like how the kids got the jewel. It's like the stone tablet, and she's like, uh, I don't know. Boop, 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 boop. And he's like, wow, first try. <laughs> <That was so fun. laughs> yeah. And then they go back to like the the Templars or whatever. Mm. And he's like, how did they unlock? It must have been advanced <laughs> civilization. <laughs> he's like, I spent a thousand years <laughs> cursing that box. He's like, they must be advanced beyond our years. Oh, it's gosh. so, just, boop, 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 boop. wow, first try. It's so <laughs> funny unlocks. It's just ridiculous enough, but it's just, it, is. it fits the tone of the movie. Fucking perfectly. perfectly. That, where if they were taking it seriously, it just w- obviously wouldn't land. This is one of the few films I, and I'm not joking, in the last 10 years, I might have bought, I'd say under 10 films. And yeah. I bought this one. Yeah. I, I bought de- this one. After, it was so After watching it, good. I want a Psycho Gorman shirt. There's got to be an awesome. That, I swear to God, that's what I was yeah. thinking. I was like, dude, a Psycho Gorman shirt There's got to be an awesome, be like, awesome. 80s, 90s style yeah. Psycho Gorman shirt. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yes. Because it this will be an occult following film. Oh, for sure. Like yeah. this will be a movie that we look back on even ten years from now and go, Psycho Gorman was fucking awesome. It's hilarious. If you have not oh, seen yeah, it, for sure. I will recommend this film. And yeah, maybe not everyone will like it, but I I will recommend this to anyone who who enjoys like 80, 90s era films and wants to go back and have a, a sat- satirical comedy film yeah. about you know. It's just this film is so funny, dude. And yeah, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, Shudder, it was a great pickup by Shudder. It was. For sure. And this is the exact, I, I don't, why does Shudder not get in the, to the horror movie making business? It's yeah. a perfect kind of business for that small, small kind of. Uh, if they made movies like this, I'd subscribe right away. And, well, it's a great service anyways. Yeah. It's only four ninety nine, and they have some great fucking movies. They have Mandy on there. I watched that again. Mm-hmm. I fucking love Mandy so much. But Mandy's uh, great. But yeah, they they have a ton of really really good horror films that not a lot of people they have the they have the famous ones too. But a lot of ones that people don't know about that are really fucking good though. Yeah, like they take time definitely to look at the movies to put in their catalog. But yeah, it's the cheapest fucking genre to get into. Shutter should be giving people fucking two hundred grand or whatever mm-hmm. right, to be making these fucking films. It's a, it's a great business model. But yeah, they. They hit a home run. I mean, they fucking hit the jackpot with this one, I think. Yeah, this one was Because I'm sure they did not have to pay much for this film. I mean, no, to get the rights, not, to get the no. streaming rights for it. But, uh, yeah, the perfect type of film. And it ends in the perfect way, too, where he goes, or he never promised not to kill everyone. Everyone, just them. Where they're like, wait, what about everyone else on the earth? And she's like, eh. <laughs> and then, like, 40 minutes later, he finally gets the power because he love. Yeah, of course. And then he goes to the next portal, and it's just like he goes like he immediately starts. It's like it's Earth. It's yeah, like down, yeah, it's, it's like Illinois or something. Yeah. It's like down. And he's People are so, running. He's exploding them, and yeah. yeah and then so funny. and then like a minute later on the news, a giant purple man terror, and there's fucking firefighters fighting fires, and he's it's grown so since dramatic. then. Yeah, yeah. He's a giant now. Oh gosh, it's it's uh, yeah, it's good. I loved it. It's gonna be on my top ten. I got a feeling. That's what I said. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. This it's a is a little early. Yeah, but you know, this is definitely one of my favorite films it's in a so, while. Yeah, like I from just, start to finish, this movie was just 
So much fun. And perfect runtime, too. You know, they, they didn't have this two hours. It's sitting in 99 minutes. You yeah, know? that's nice. I mean, that's definitely digestible. So Yeah, it's, it's again, not everyone is going to love it. If you're not aware of what the, of what genre it is satiring, I feel like it's going to go over your head. But for everyone else that really, I mean, I grew up on 80s and 90s. If yeah. you grew up in the 80s or 90s, you're going to know what this film is oh, fucking for satire. Sure. Yeah, yeah, But I got a feeling like maybe my dad probably would think this film is horribly oh, cheesy. yeah, my dad would hate this film. Or my, yeah, my, my dad likes practical effects, but maybe, yeah, I know my mom, would, for one, would fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, not everyone is going to love this film. No. But if you're, if you're follow, if you're part of that niche, then you're going to fucking love yeah. it. It's just. And the one-liners, there's so many great one-liners in this that oh, make yeah. me laugh. Like, I will bathe in your blood. Yeah, there's some great ones. Don't be scared. Be afraid. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like that kind of shit. Or he's like, Bye. He's like, it'd be better if you were dead. Yeah, he's, he's like, like, okay. Okay, bye. And then she does the bye, yeah, in it, but it's a bye. so fucking long. And then you can hear like the echo gets yeah. so fucking. And he's just standing there. He's like, okay. Yeah, he's like, uh, <laughs> sitting there having to. Bye. And it's just the longest fucking, which they stole from me. They did. You know, I should have yeah, DM'd that. Yeah, you should have. You should have. I'm a fucking idiot. You should have TM thriving too. Yeah. A lot of mistakes on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, well, mistakes were made. We're learning, though. <laughs> we are. But, uh, you yeah. have to TM things right away. Absolutely. I would uh, I would definitely recommend this, though. Oh, absolutely. This uh, Again, we, we keep bringing it up. Hilarious film. Uh, one of my favorites. Yes. The last couple of years. It's, uh, and, uh, it's $6.99 right now. Totally fucking worth it. Though. 12 bucks to buy. I recommend buying it because I'm going to watch this again. You can keep I'll it for life. I'll probably watch this next week. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's just good. It, and I know I missed some things. And uh, yeah. It's definitely a film that uh, I can't wait to show people that I know will fucking love it. Mm-hmm. Like my like our group of friends or yeah. my like my family that are my age will fucking love this film. I can't yeah. wait to show it to people. I'm going to show it to a lot of fucking people and watch it with them. Mm-hmm. And cuz I can't wait to see the reactions of some of the fucking stuff cuz it's some of the stuff is so oh, stupid God. but it's it so fucking funny. I love Alistair in this the giant <laughs> brain kid. And then he never gets transformed back. That's the thing is I know and at the is very nothing end, works out. Yeah. He had the last scene and he's yeah. like Alistair dinner time and, he and he's like wobbles and he's like just the thrown table. Table. <laughs> His parents are there but you can see they're so sad. Yeah. They're just so <laughs> he's so not even eating. He's just moving the food off his plate back and forth. Yeah, and his tentacles. parents are just devastating. They, they lost his son. They did. It's they did. It's in a lot of ways. It's so they did. brutal. Yeah. All right. Uh, All right. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. That is our uh, review for Psycho Goreman, our foreign film Friday. If you guys like what you're seeing here, please be sure to like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. Thank you so much for watching and listening. My name is Mason Knight. That is Cash Krause. And until next time. Bye. Thank you.